Today I will explain all the basics you need to know about assault teams. Basically assault teams are a part of the RTS part of the game. All the purpose and use of assault teams are done in the generals tab of the game. Where you can deploy your ATs in real time war battles. Now let's start with the guide. First thing is what is an assault team. For all the beginners, an assault team is a collection of resources like infantry, vehicles, tanks, planes etc. Which allows players to use those resources in the battle. This is how all different assault teams visually looks in the game. Your personal AT will be in yellow color. Friendly ATs in blue and green color and enemy ATs will be red color. Now let's move to the assault team statistics. This is the Assault Team Statistics Chart. Here you will find all different kind of ATs stats. The first row are the icons of all the different ATs, from ground fighting infantry to paratroopers, to heavy fighter planes. These icons are used to visually identify the type of an Assault Team in the game, whether it's friendly or an enemy's one. The second row are the nomenclature of the icons in the first row. Here you can see the different names given to the different types of ATs. The third row is level. These levels indicates the different tier upgrade ability of the ATs. Like the figure 0 indicates the starting tier of an assault team. Figure 1, 2, and 3 indicates the second, third and fourth tier of the ATs. The more higher the tier the more it is expensive to deploy and maintain that assault team. Only infantry have the tier 3 option from guards to mechanized infantry. The fourth row indicates the speed with which an assault team moves from one city to another on the war map. The higher the speed the less time it will take to cover a distance. The fastest assault team in the game is of heavy fighter planes. And remember paraplanes have 2.7 speed whereas paratroopers and pathfinders without planes have a speed of 0.5. The fifth row is of vision. Adjust a radius of distance up to which your assault team can reveal friendly and enemy ATs. Higher vision values enable you to see units surrounding your assault team from further away. The highest vision is of mechanized records, and reckon planes assault teams. The sixth row is command points. To understand these watch my video on command points. Link is in the description. The next 4 rows, are of credits and golds required to buy and deploy an assault team in war battles respectively. The S icon represents the number of soldiers that assault team has. And the icon represents the number of vehicles in that assault team. Now let's move to the assault team upgrade tree. This is a image of different levels or ranks of upgrades for assault team. Like a guard ATs can be upgraded into either a motorized guard, or into an infantry assault team. Like this, all assault teams can be upgraded, till they reach their highest upgradable level. And yes upgrading your assault team is not necessary in any way. It's all up to you to upgrade or not. And only guard 80s are upgradable to level 3 rank, rest all 80s have maximum of level 2 rank upgradability. For upgrading your assault team, after acquiring the required experience points for the upgrade, all you need to do, is select the upgrade option, and then select next level assault team you want to have. We have seen how assault teams are upgraded to different levels. Now let's move to how assault team earns XP. Earning experience by an assault team is very simple. An 80 earns 30 XP, if the battle in which they are is a win, and 5 XP, if the battle is lost. Just keep your assault teams engaged in active battles for earning the most experience. Branch does not influence the XP requirements for assault team levels. Like guards require the same experience as Reckon, Pathfinder, etc. There is a specific amount of XP required for upgrading an 80 to different levels. Like for upgrading from level 0 to level 1, that 80 needs at least 351 XP in order to be eligible for upgrading to level 1. Likewise this, 3451 XP are required to be eligible for upgrading to level 2, and 9201 XP to upgrade to level 3. Remember that veteran membership does not affect Assault Team's XP earnings. The next thing is morale. Assault Teams have morale, or Battle Fatigue Meter, whose maximum value is 100. 
an assault team loses 10 morale for winning a battle, and 20 morale for losing. There is a specific value of 25, known as morale break value, reaching which an assault team surrenders. Morale is regained over time, by letting your assault team take rest. Assault teams also earns war funds, for the officer or generals they belong to. To understand how APs earns war funds, watch my video on war funds. Link is in the description. The next thing is badges for assault teams. There are three badges which affects assault teams directly. First one is Battlefield Commander. This badge gives you up to 20% more morale for your assault teams. To earn points for this badge you need to stand close to the radio inside objectives while capturing. Second one is Charismatic Leader. This badge helps in faster morale recovery of your assault teams. You need to participate in war battles with your assault teams to earn points for this ribbon. Most points are awarded for victories. Third one is Logistics Expert Badge. This badge increases the speed of the assault teams up to 20%, which are under your command. To earn points for this ribbon you need to transport friendly soldiers using military and civilian vehicles. These are all the basics you need to know about assault teams. That's all for today. Subscribe for more heroes and generals videos. Thanks for watching. My hands steady, I feel ready, but my legs heavy, I don't get it How come I haven't hit it already? Still working, I'm still learning, I'm still searching Finally earning something, finally turning something called a profit If I hear you talking shit, don't get caught